All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're going to be talking about how to hook your Nintendo Joy-Con controllers and your Nintendo Pro controller up to your Windows 10 PC. And the simple answer is it's actually pretty easy. All you got to do is have hardware somewhere inside of your computer that allows you to communicate with Bluetooth devices. It could be attached to your Wi-Fi card, like it is for mine, or it could be one of the different USB plugins that come with a Logitech mouse or keyboard. Whatever, as long as you have something in your computer that talks to multiple Bluetooth devices, you can pretty easily hook these together. So all you gotta do is go to your desktop. I've just got a picture up as a generic background because I got a bunch of files up on my desktop and go down to the lower right hand corner and find the notifications button. It's that little thing that kind of looks like a chat icon or a chat bubble and you click on that and that's going to open up the actions center where Windows tells you all the things that have been going on with your computer and what you're looking for is the Bluetooth button. This is all those toggleable buttons that can do things like put your computer into airplane mode if it's a laptop or turn on a VPN or what have you. What we're looking for is the Bluetooth button. Turn that on, and that's the first half of what you have to do to get your devices to talk to one another. The second thing is we're going to go into the settings, find our way to the devices section where it's got Bluetooth printers and mouse stuff. Click on that, go to the Bluetooth and other devices tab, and this is basically a running list of all the devices that you have connected to your computer wirelessly or even stuff that's plugged in. Like you can see my Wacom tablet, you can see my Logitech mouse and my keyboard and everything. But what we want to do is we're going to be using this button up here to add a Bluetooth device. But first, the image of my camera, we have to tell the devices to be discoverable. So on the Joy-Con controllers, if you flip them over, they've got a little button attached to where all of the little flashing lights are. What you want to do is you want to press and hold that button until the lights start to flash and go ahead and do that with both of your Joy-Con controllers. And it should only, you should only have to hold it down for one or two seconds. And once they're both blinking, you can go ahead and click on the add Bluetooth or other device, click on Bluetooth, and you should see all of the different devices that you want to hook up appear on that list. And this will also include the Pro Controller. On the Pro Controller, it's a little different. There is a button on the back that you'll want to hold down for a few seconds. And once you do, the front lights of the controller should light up. They are unfortunately not on the back, which can be a little bit confusing for different people. And then one by one, go through this Add Device list and start adding these devices to your computer. Click Done. Go back through, do it three times for each device, depending on how many of these you've got, and they should all be connected and talking to your computer. And then once you've got all of that done, your controllers are hooked up to your Windows 10 PC. They should show up here in this device list, and you're good to go. I should note, however, for those out there who are looking to immediately use these controllers for games, that the Joy-Con controllers are not compatible with everything. In fact, they're compatible with very few games that I've tested so far. About the only games that I've gotten them to work on reliably are things like Halo Wars, because Halo Wars has a very simplified set of controls, so those work really nice for it. The other problem when it comes to these controllers is each one of these controllers behaves like its own independent device. They don't count as a singular controller, so if you want to use them for a more complex game that you would normally have to go out and get an Xbox One controller for, you're going to have to wait until somebody out there releases a driver that allows you to treat them as a singular controller. There are some experimental programs out there that you can Google and experiment with. I had no luck getting any of them to work reliably, so I would recommend if you can get a program to map the Pro Controller buttons to an Xbox One controller driver, that should be the one that you should use. It's the one that's a little bit more unified and a little bit easier to work with. Now, should you want to remove any of these devices from your Windows 10 computer for any reason, all you have to do is click on the device in the device list, 
and click on remove device. After you've done that, it'll be deleted from the device list and no longer communicate with Windows 10, and you'll have to pair it again in order to get it to work. This can be important in case your device is having a bit of a hiccup or it's not communicating right. Sometimes you can fix those problems by simply disconnecting the device, turning it off, turning it back on, the Bluetooth that is, turning the Bluetooth on and off, and then reconnecting the device or repairing the device. So that's all you gotta do to pair your Joy-Con controllers with your Windows 10 PC. This also includes your Nintendo Pro controller, and this is essentially how you pair just about any Bluetooth device with your computer. It works for Mac, works for Linux, works for PC. Essentially, all you're doing is clicking on the button on whatever device until a light starts to flash, then it's discoverable, and then you just have to find the Bluetooth connection window in whatever computer you're using, and then you just gotta say yes, talk to that device. Works with keyboards, works with mice, works with controllers, and that's about it. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and throw those down in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that I can. I should alert everybody out there that I'm not an expert on how to fix Bluetooth errors, where I've tried to help friends with that in the past. Your best bet is if you're having a problem with a specific device, that you get in contact with that device's manufacturer for a Bluetooth transmitter. So that's it. Have a good one, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.